as a Singaporean, you don't really, we are not really entrenched in, in tradition. You know, we are a melting pot of so many culture. And that is what, to me, Batik is about. Batik is a celebration of that. My name is Kamal Dola. I am the Kamal of Kamal Arts. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an artist. Uh, Bate is one of the things that I do. I always lo love painting. So I started to question that, you know, maybe this, this is a medium that is related to my culture. I wanted to know myself better. I wanted to know my background better. And so I, uh, I tried to sign up for a Bate course, but there was nobody teaching Bate in the school. So I, I skipped class and I, I, I started my own class. And, and I, I spoke to the dean, uh, who was very supportive of me. I, and he, I told him, I said, can you give me a classroom every afternoon? And give me the exhibition hall at the end of six months. We'll, we'll have a show. Someone came up to me and said, uh, I'm having a public program and I want 2,000 people involved in this. And then I said, how do you get 2,000 people to do with batik? I'm very concerned about safety because it has to do with hot wax. And how do I transport a four meter frame? So I came up with this plan of making a very long piece of batik. So we came up with modular system that everything fits in a car. It, this was for part of an international initiative to encourage drawing. So I, it turned out well, because, you know, from there, that's how Community Batik was born. Uh, I mean, credit to them because they, they, gave, they gave the name. So, so you see, the, the patterns need to move with the times. You know, you know people, people don't want to consume things that's very old. You know? It doesn't relate to them, it doesn't benefit them. The art community in Singapore need to grow. And then the community around us need to support. Then we become a nation with a strong sense of identity. And then that, that, that is what I feel is important.